All right, YouTube, it's Simon Miller. I'm back talking about some wrestling because everybody loves a little bit of wrestling. Basically, it's just another update on my pro wrestling journey. When I do these videos, people see interested. And really, like, coolly, I guess, people message me all the time going, Miller, I'd like a wrestling journey update. What you've been up to, what you're doing, what's next, and all of that. And I got two specific things I want to talk about today. So because of that, I thought, screw it, we can get this done. Now, the best thing that's going on at the moment, I am not saying I'm the finished article. I'm not saying that I think I'm a good wrestler. I'm not saying I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the world. That is not what I'm saying at all. Sometimes people hear things and they come up with their own conclusions, and I want to make that clear now. But in terms of a progression thing, in terms of a journey thing, in terms of I was here, and hopefully I'm going to get here, especially over the last few matches, I can say with a modicum amount of confidence that I do feel like I'm getting better. And it's not like i still got so far to go, and I still need people to help me. I guess you always need help in life, but, you know, especially in wrestling right now, I need people to help me, and I need to bounce ideas off of people. But be it, I won't say names, because, again, I don't know what people want to get out there, but be it proper names offering me feedback or watching my matches and, you know, giving me critiques. It's, again, it's small things. So, for example, in match number seven, let's say, one of the big things I would worry about is remembering certain spots or remembering what happens here or what happens there. That's slowly getting better to the point that as long as I remember the start and the finish, everything else kind of flows together. I'm adding to my move set. Some people have said my selling is better. Uh, I've been really working on strikes recently, uh, sort of in specific one-on-one -on -one training environment, and everyone's there is like, okay, Simon, it's getting better, it's getting better. And it's like anything, right? So if you play an instrument, right? You play guitar, play piano, play violin when you actually notice that oh, i can play this song that i couldn't play before it's the same with this and people say wrestling is art you paint on your canvas um it makes you feel really good and your confidence goes up and your motivation goes up and it's kind of like the circle of life that's how we get here and the sort of the things that have really helped me that right now over the last few weeks so last saturday i was at ewa in high wickham i just want to say great promotion amazing lovely bunch of people couldn't have liked them more and they booked me against Andy Boy Simmons now if you know anything about the independent UK scene you will know that Andy Simmons has been a pillar of that for a very long time to, to give you an idea when I first tried to become a wrestler in my early 20s couldn't do it wasn't wasn't uh well just wasn't strong enough mentally if we're completely honest he was the first guy that trained me I went to his school in Kent and he trained me really nice guy knows what he's talking about and he's been doing it ever since. And sort of in 2019, I guess you may know him as one of the guys that does commentary for New Japan. So he's doing all right. But in terms of, you know, his in-ring experience, it is second to none. And I was able to be in a match with him. And it was, it was well, not only was it an honor for me, and I know we're, we're kind of breaking the rules. And if he sees this, he'll be mad. I know he will be. But, <laughs> but you know, this is how we started. And I'm not going to turn my back on you now. But to have that kind of experience and to learn from somebody who is, you know, at the level that he's at, it was, it, it was just awesome. You know, I'll, I'll be able to take loads away from that and hopefully apply it to my other matches. And you know, that's what it's all about. Looking forward, before I get to my third point, looking forward, somehow on, I think it's October the, the, the 2nd. Yes, it is October the 2nd, because that's the day that AEW goes live on, 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 on TNT in, in the States, and obviously over here on ITV4. I'm being booked to Milton Keynes against IPW against David Starr. Once again, if you know anything about the, the independence scene, not just in the UK, but anywhere... Anyway, you will know you will know David Starr's name. You're probably aware of his independent movement. He's a very outspoken chap. Uh, I got to know him very well uh, during our Defiant days because we used to ride up there together. And I won't lie, when I saw that on Twitter, that's how I found out genuinely. I found out through IPW's Twitter. I kind of sat down. I was really nervous. I was like, that's, that's quite the step up. Because he has had, I mean, recently he was smashing it with Walter, right? in progress and he's he's for everybody i think he, i think he's got a match with orange cassidy or is about to have a match with orange cassidy i think it's a pwg anyway you know so he, he he travels the world he's a professional wrestler he's making money from it and he's an absolute success and i've seen him do that you know i've been a fan of david Starr even before i got into wrestling myself because that again that's just how it works you hear these names on reddit or the internet and you go and check them out and you're like oh wow and i'm now i'm interested also david Starr is jewish i'm jewish and that's just how you know human beings work we've talked about about it here before about WWE when never was in WWE because I'm British there's always like an extra connection there because that's just how brains work brains are weird so yeah look, I think there are still tickets available for that go check out IPW social feeds or search them on Google October 2nd in Milton Keynes but that to me just kind of sums up where we're at right now I've just learned from someone that I consider a UK legend and I'm about to hopefully learn from someone who right now is you know outside of the big companies is right up there 
and people are talking about all the time. So, and then in the middle of all of that, which I want to talk about now, is what happened on Wednesday, also at IPW. I was down in, in Harwich, which is kind of near Ipswich. And we had Norwood Mania. And Norwood Mania was uh, to represent James Norwood, who's an Ipswich Town football player, professional football player, who's a massive wrestling fan. Like, he had some notoriety recently in terms of wrestling because he did, uh, he did I think he did a rock celebration and The Rock responded to it on Twitter. Obviously, that blew up. They booked on this charity event. Uh, you know, IPW very, very kindly invited me down. So I got to have a six-man tag team match with James Norwood as a special guest enforcer. And kind of during it, I was like, wrestling is so mad. Wrestling is so crazy. But isn't wrestling so fun? And doing a six-man tag alone is fun. You know, having five other guys that, are, you, that you've got to work with is a challenge within itself. I know loads of wrestlers that don't actually like doing tag matches that big. And while I actually got a massive kick out of it, I can understand where they're coming from. Because when it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you've only got a worry about two people's stuff when there's five of the people there's more liabilities i guess if one thing goes wrong the whole thing could unravel but that was just that was just a barrel of laughs sky sports news were there and they featured a little clip of it uh, on their sky speech new reel i think it's playing throughout the weekend as well you just see my ass with my giant y written on it another story for you again not going to name names did an event recently and somebody else that is a big name within the world of wrestling just went to me simon why do you have y written on your ass and that was a conversation that i was both happy to have but also somewhat embarrassed about but again professional wrestling that's why i'm able to have y on my ass there are still people out there they're like miller why are you doing the whole why gimmick it's like Dude, that literally ties in to everything that we've done. Imagine I just got rid of it. I mean, maybe one day I will. Maybe one day I evolve and change it to something else. We just don't know. But, man, I'm the why guy until I run that into the ground. <laughs> everything that's going on recently is really... My confidence has definitely gone up. And I, and I think that's cool. I know that people want to see more match footage and they want me to get matches out there. But obviously, I don't control that. That's all on the all on the promotions. For example, I did a match for Breed a couple of weeks ago. And they have a Vimeo account where you can pay a little bit of cash and you can watch. I'm never, you know, I'm never going to take footage of my match and plaster it all the internet. They're trying to stay alive. You know, they need to, to worry about their finances too. Uh, but anytime I do have footage that is cool for me to post, and obviously I'll litter all this with pictures and whatnot so you can see it, I will always, I will always do that. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at right now. Again, if you're around for that Milton Keynes show, come down a week Friday. I'm going home uh, where I was born in Luton for Castle Fest. I think there, there must be tickets still available for that because it's a big festival. So if you do come down, if you're in the Luton, the Bedfordshire area, I think it's the 27th of September, whatever Friday week today, basically, uh, if you look at the upload date. Come down to Luton if you can. That would, I can't wait for that one. Again, I'm literally going to be about 10 minutes from where I was born. And I love those things. I was able to wrestle in the Manchester Academy for Defiant, obviously. And I used to go there all the time for gigs when I was at university. And now I get to go and, and wrestle at Castle Fest. So that's, uh, these really cool things keep happening. I may have a really super cool thing to talk about soon, but I, I'm not allowed to at the moment until it's confirmed. And I wouldn't want to either. You don't want to jinx things. So fingers crossed for that. And it's just been great. And I appreciate all the support from everybody out there. I appreciate the community that's around me. I appreciate the people that are interested, intrigued. And I appreciate the people that keep reaching out, saying, mean, Simon, can you come and wrestle for us? My mantra is still, if I'm free and I can get there, I'll 100% get there. The dream is still to just have one match in the United States. Obviously, the dream originally was to have one match. We've done that now. I'm a goal-oriented person. Other than that, just get as many matches as possible. And you know, if one day I could work for Attack Progress over here, it'd be amazing. But in terms of my overall... Not my overall goal, but my big goal, let's say. I want to have a match in the States. I think we can cross that off. We've done South Korea. We've done Scotland. We've done England. Uh, let's keep crossing off uh, the countries. But so far, so good. Shoulders will never be 100%, but that's just the way of things. Otherwise, I'm enjoying it, and I think that's key. The big question I always get is, Simon, I want to get... Two, Simon, I want to get into pro wrestling. Am I too old? No, you're never too old. Even if you're 50 years old, just go and do it. All right, you may never be WWE champion, but maybe you will. Maybe you will create a whole new path within the, this business, and you will inspire other people to do the same. You just don't know. The only person holding you, uh, holding you back is you. But also... You have got to enjoy, you know, I'm going to my first training session. What should I do? Have fun. I know it sounds cheesy and stupid, but if you're not having fun and you're not enjoying it and you don't get a kick out of it, why do it to begin with? It's not worth your time. As far as we know, we only get one shot at life and we may as well find things that trigger passions within us and make us smile before we go to bed at night. So that's always my advice. And right now I can safely say I'm enjoying professional wrestling. And I look forward to professional wrestling. I still get nervous on the day. I'm a bit of a blah, blah, blah. But once I'm there 
and you see everybody and you find out what match you're on and where you're going to go on the card and you're behind the curtain and you're working out, pumping up, drinking all the magic drinks to, to you know, to, to trick people about your body. Thanks, creatine and arginine uh, and other amino acids. But uh, it's just the best. And I, I had a moment the other day where I got in from that Norwood Mania show and I was just like, it's crazy. It was like one, two in the morning, whatever. And I was walking back. I was excited to get up. And, like, I love my job too, as I've talked about before. But I was like, we did it to a certain extent. Still more to do. But, you know, around about three years ago, I said I want to be a professional wrestler. Now I can look at my calendar and it's full of professional wrestling dates. And I'm very humbled and I'm very honored by that. And it's mostly thanks to people out there who support me. Uh, if you can continue to support me as well by uh, subscribing to the video, I should have said at the start, forgot, who cares? Like it, share it, add Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. All of it supported by patreon.com forward slash Simon316. I'm not even going to say it. Look in the description, merchandise, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Check out all my other bizarre videos on my channel. Most importantly, enjoy yourself. Have good weekends if you're watching it day one. And I'll speak to you again soon.